Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Through the Years. In the last episode we uh, said we were going to go to Cinnabar Islands and I would have done some grinding. The next two gyms are very close together in level and um, they are at the highest about level 54, 55 either or depending on the gym. Uh, so I figure 45, it's, it's good enough, I, I just didn't feel like grinding anymore. And based on how absolutely devastated uh, the other gyms we had before at level 50 were, I figured being 10 levels behind, apparently not that bad. Eh? Remember when I talked about finding a Dragonite and not using the Master Ball on it? Wow. So we're going to have to change the team again between this recording and the next one. I'm going to have to do a lot of grinding again between this uh, recording and the next one, apparently. Uh, that being said, I do need to actually capture it, don't I? I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. Um, let's try Venom. Venom is a little bit scary, uh, but I'm also 30 levels higher. It's still, it, I know it's a Dragonite, but I'm also 30 levels higher. So I think I'll be fine. Um, I, I might not be. I don't know. But a Leech Life probably won't kill, will it? Probably not. I'll probably be fine. That's actually exactly like perfect as far as the amount of damage. Do you not have any, any damaging moves yet at level 15? That does seem possible. And at this point, actually even likely. So let's see if a Ultra Ball is going to... Uh, probably should look through the team because I did add Nido King to the team. Uh, which doesn't have a great... I missed a Pokeball. Oh my god. Um, I'm going to try again. Yeah. I'm going to try until I only have 10 left. Which is... Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> um. We're gonna call you Zim. Um. Because I like the Dragon Prince like a lot, and we we have a Dragonite, and we're definitely gonna be using that Dragonite. Uh, start a next recording session, which will probably be uh, the final recording session of the game. That being Victory Road, Elite Four, and Cerulean Cave. Maybe Cerulean Cave will be separate. It depends. Probably next recording session will be one episode, and this one will be two, or the other way around. I don't yet know. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect to be running into a Dragonite today. Uh, I mean, you never expect to, but I think it was like last episode. It was the episode where we got to Master Ball, right? So that's by now, it's like three episodes ago. It's fairly recent for me, because this is the first recording session of this week. And then I did Pokemon as the last recording session of last week. So it's only like, it's been two days since I since I said that. For you guys, it's been like over a week, I'm aware. It's level 30 gloom on the water. Uh, that, that's, that's a little bit weird. So do we even need any more captures today is the question. Because we have a Dragonite. I so wish I would have done that at the end of the last episode. Because I could have like done some grinding with Dragonite. Who am I even going to get rid of on the team to make room for Dragonite is the question. Because I've got Nick, which... Um, let, let's go over everybody real quickly. 135 attack, but also 112 special, which is very good. Uh, which now has Hydro Pump as well. I've got Venom, which... Gonna be honest, not very like impressed with Venom at all. So if anything, maybe Venom will disappear, but... I don't know. I, I really don't know because we do need the Leech Life and the Mega Drain on the team for coverage. Thanos, obviously, 145 special. Thanos is going nowhere. Um, not flying. Uh, Blaze has... I don't think gotten anything new, but still, it's, it's a very good balanced Pokemon. And then we have Big D. Maybe Zone. Maybe get rid of Zone. Either Zone or Big D, I'm thinking. And you can see, yes, I gave Strength to Big D because its attack set is 104. 
and it doesn't learn any moves for level up because it's a seven evolution and then zone uh, obviously also has a massive special stats and uh thunderbolt which i could teach thunderbolt to dragonite i suppose it doesn't get star but i imagine dragonite might i don't think dragonite would actually have a higher special stat i don't think it would huh Oh, we can also revive. We, we get one more captain on. I even anticipated here. We can also obviously revive the fossil we got. And if we don't like the fossil it is, uh, as long as it is before we hand it over, we could go to Pewter City and get ourselves the old amber for a second roll. Uh, but I don't think you can actually find out until uh, that's the wrong building, I think. That's, a, that's not the wrong building. This is the Pokemon lab. That's exactly where I wanted to go. Um, I don't think you can find out what Pokemon you're going to get until you actually get it. I don't think he tells you, uh, I can change this into a blank. And then say, oh, no, never mind, I actually don't want that. Uh, I think it's you that gives it to me. No, it's not. Then it's somebody in the last room here. I always forget how this place looks. Yeah, this, uh, this definitely seems like a... I'm an important doctor. I study here. Why am I talking dialogue all of a sudden? Uh, helix fossil. I've got a helix fossil for you. That's a helix fossil. It's a fossil of a Rattata. A Pokemon that is already existing. <laughs> it should be. Definitely should be. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. No, I do not want a Rattata. Um, at least I don't want a Rattata until I know what the old Amber turns into. So you can actually see what it turns into apparently before uh committing to it so let's fly to pewter city i've used the pokemon center here so i can fly back to cinnabar island and let's go i don't like the color of pewter city it's just i know it, it's it's brownish it, it's a pewter color i i assume this is what pewter is uh but really i, I don't like it it's just very ugly <laughs> Um, and once you get cup, you can actually come back here to this little building and uh, find the old amber in here. Uh, I think this guy just gives it to you. Yeah, just, just, just keep talking. G give me the thing. Give me the thing. I don't think I have any place for that in my bag. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Don't give me the thing. Um... Well, I don't know. TM18, what are you? You are counter. I'm never going to rely on that, so let's toss you. I mean, if I have a Pokemon with a very high HP stat, which I do have a couple, I guess, counter could be good, but it still requires you to get hit, and I outspeed a lot of things as it is, because I, I feel like I have a pretty fast team. That is pretty much the reason uh, I've been surviving this long, I think. Because I outspeed things. So usually when I get down to low HP. Also, Gen 1 might just be a little bit broken. I, I might just have a very good Gen 1 kind of team. Let's see what the old Amber turns into. I uh, would not going to do the gym today, I don't think. I think next episode will be two gym fights back to back. I think today will be only capturing, uh, capturing Pokemon. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to do the Pokemon Mansion, obviously. Which is going to take quite a while. We have to do Seafoam Islands and a route leading up to Seafoam Islands. Uh, so, altogether, that is a couple of encounters. And it's going to be quite a while before we actually... Rapidash! I don't think we've had a Rapidash or a Ponyta before, have we? Uh, where is my list? Uh, my list seems to be incomplete, by the way. I need to update my list. Uh, because I don't think everything is on it, but it seems like Rapidash or Ponyta are in fact both not on this, so let's just take it, I guess. It'll take a little time. So we can come back here uh, once we've done the other things. We can get the Rapidash, which is yet another fire type. We're getting a lot of fire types, which... I think we literally have every fire type in the game other than Moltres at this point. <laughs> Do we? We've got the Charizard line. We've got Magma. We've got Rapidash. I think that might be all of them. Actually, I think that is all of them. Am I missing any? 
I don't think I... That's a golem. That's also level 10. That means that I... I have to try. I probably will not live that. That's a critical hit. I don't think that crit mattered. I would have liked a golem, but I have so many good Pokemon as it is at the moment that I didn't really need the golem. I don't need anything. At this point, I'm really just getting more encounters to hope that I'm running into a legendary. Because Dragonite is literally the only thing that's not a legendary that I would be interested in adding to the team. And I just got that like five minutes ago. So at this point, I need any of the five legendaries available to, to show up. And not Gloom. I mean, it is another grass type for if and when Vanam decides to die. Uh, I think that'll be good. Or not. Or not. But that was that. That uh, was very anticlimactic. That was... That, that was not good. <laughs> Let's go back to Cinnabar Island. And then I guess we go into the Pokemon Mansion now. That's two wasted encounters. One of which was potentially very good, and one of which was potentially somewhat useful. I think we've got something of every type we're going to need now. We might... We don't have a ghost type. You don't need a ghost type. But we don't have one, because there's literally only one ghost type line in Gen 1. It, it, it's literally only the, the ghastly line. And we don't have any of those. Pokemon Mansion it is. I'm going to be able to grind in here so, so much uh, when the time comes to grind for the Elite Four. Uh, that actually doesn't make any sense because at that point I'll be able to... No, because... No, no, no. I was going to say, at that point I'll be able to use the... Um, use the Victor Road, but I won't be because I'll probably grind before going into Victor Road for that recording. So I, I don't know... Then again, Victor Road is significantly lower level, probably, than... Am I really getting lost in the Pokemon Mansion? First thing I encounter here, do not kill it. Uh, just telling myself, do not kill the first thing you encounter here. Let it live and capture it. Have we encountered something yet? I am very afraid that we've already encountered something in here. I don't think we have. Uh, it's a dupe clause. It's a Gyarados, it's also level 40! That's a wild Pokemon. That's a wild Pokemon. That's level 40. Uh, yeah, so there's nothing up here I can do other than, like, read the diaries for the creation of Mewtwo or some bullshit like that. Clefable looks very... Oh, there's level 26. So there was the, the level 40 one's probably, like, what is it? Usually probably Muck, I think, in here. Uh, it's probably just like a, a, a low percentage chance encounter, which I just got first try. I was going to be upset if I killed yet another Pokemon uh, I wanted to capture. I don't particularly need Clefable. Didn't we get a Clefairy last episode? I think we got like Clefairy last episode. I'm going to run away from this Clefable with the assumption that we got a dupes clause situation there again. I might be mistaken, but I do seem to remember uh, because I, I put in the Discord, right? This is definitely a dupe clause. I put in the Discord uh, an example of the baby Pokemon rule I was thinking about, like what am I going to do? Am I going to do the, the default version or, or the baby version when I set them back to the lowest evolution? And uh, we talked about it and I gave the example of uh, Clefairy and then do I do Clefa or do I do... How do I do anything here is the question. Usually I don't really have an issue with the Pokemon Mansion. I... Is it, is it different in yellow? Is it different in yellow? It feels like it might be different in yellow. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. I, I don't know. Um, and then I ran into a Clefairy on screen. I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. Um, and I think I called it. You're supposed to go down here. You're supposed to go down through that and then I fall down. I am like 52.5% sure. That's another Gyarados. I might do some grinding in here before going into Victory Road either way. Um, I, I honestly don't know. It doesn't seem like there's any new encounters on this floor. I'm going to just assume that we have a duped clause with, uh, with Clefable. And... Are you supposed to go upstairs after all? You must be. Sorry for speeding through this, but I'm I'm confused. And when I'm confused, I get annoyed. And when I'm getting annoyed, I want to get this over with as quickly as humanly possible. Yeah, but there's, there's no barricades here. Is there? New encounter. That's a new encounter. That's a new encounter. So, we're getting a star, you. I was kind of hoping to, to wait until the place where you usually get Ditto. Uh, the, the basement. Where you also find the key and the TM for Blizzard, I might add. That's definitely going on Dragonite, by the way. Blizzard. That, that's, that, that's definitely going on Dragonite. Um, but I, I need to get to that place first. <laughs> which, uh, which, which seems problematic. I'm gonna be honest. Doesn't seem like... Okay, that was very easy. Uh, what am I gonna call a star you? Is there any like famous stars? Like sea stars? Patrick! Obviously, Patrick! The Patrick. Patrick the star you. Is this a Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Um, Is that a very stupid and dumb and random reference? Yeah, yeah, it is. There's also a chance that Patrick is not going to be joining the team still, uh, through a... I just realized I'm stupid. That was a very long anime... Would have much preferred you. Would have much, much preferred you. Especially for, like, Gen 2. Well, not as much Gen 2, I guess. It, it's better in this Gen than it is in Gen 2. Um, yeah, I would have definitely preferred Ghastly, because that would have been a, a Haunter within a level. And then within, like, this is very not good for people with um, photosensitive uh, epilepsy, this, uh, <laughs> this transition. I, I'm not liking it. I mean, I don't have it. I hope. But it, it, it's not making me feel very good. So I think I'm still going the, hey, another Dragonite, and this one's level 26. I'm very glad that we didn't run into that one. Uh, okay, so you go upstairs, toggle the thing to what it needs to be, and then you run into another fucking ghastly. Then you go back downstairs, and then you can navigate through um, through this place. That, that's how you do this. Oh, you don't even need to go upstairs. You can just a secret switch, press the switch, yeah. I don't think you need to go upstairs, at least not up that stairs, like at all, like ever. Is that right? That seems like it could be right. I, I, I don't know. I'm honestly just lost. I'm just hoping that whatever I'm doing right now is the right thing, because otherwise I, I'm all out of ideas. There's got to be one of those statues nearby. Um... There has to be. <laughs> no. No, there isn't. I swear to God, this didn't used to be that difficult. This used to be much, much easier. So what I'm going to do now, and I don't know if this is going to work. It's probably not going to work like I hope it will. I'm going to switch this one again and hope that 
it isn't just like a general switch, but they're actually like certain gates are linked to certain switches. Th definitely does not seem like that is the case. So there's no reason for the be to be like multiple switches. Other than convenience, I guess. Can I heal in here? These bats literally don't do anything. Okay, so why would you ever want to not block them off? Why why is that room even a thing? You know what? I'm uh I'm th I'm gonna Google, I think. I I'm gonna go to Google because I swear to god, if I run a leaf green this is much easier. And I think even in red and blue, it it's different. I, I feel like it's legitimately different. It might not be. Also, I, I fucking need repels. I, I despise all of these wild encounters while I'm trying to figure this out. Usually I don't really mind wild encounters, but right now... They're making my blood boil. I, I don't like it. So I'm going to try this one more time. I know I've done this exact thing once before. I'm just going to give the benefit of the doubt and assume that I might have missed something in here. Which clearly I did not. I'm gonna have to Google. I, I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing wrong. So it turns out I'm actually an idiot and you are supposed to go upstairs, but not up these stairs. No, 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 no. That would be silly. You wouldn't go up those stairs. Who would, have, who would ever even think about doing such a silly thing? No, obviously not. You go up to the room above and then you go up these stairs. At least I think that's what it is. And then you have a switch here as well, which I think you ignore this one. Hang in with my... No, you don't ignore that one. You also you also switch this one, you see? And then the bottom lane here opens up and then you can choose either... You know what? I'm not gonna fucking like save states here. <laughs> I think either all works, but... I, I think both work. I think they both work. I think neither one uh, is wrong there. Might be the case though. No more room for items. I just picked up on a calcium and I already had a calcium. Does it? Does it count by total volume, not by number of entries in the list? I I, I had a calcium somewhere. Let's use both of those calciums on. I don't fucking know on Thanos. Actually, that that's exactly the Pokemon to get calcium. I didn't, I never know what calcium does. And a carbos, you know what? We're giving that to, uh, who's gonna get the carbos? I don't know what the carbos does. We're giving that to Big D. Speed, you know? Sure, sure, why not? Okay, so now we're down here where we have more puzzles. I think we should be fine. I've been looking around on uh, like, the internet a little bit, but also just walking around here. And um, that's TM14 that contains... That's not Blizzard. Is it? It is Blizzard. Okay, so we've got the TM for Blizzard now, which is the second most important thing in the basement here. There's one thing that's more important than the TM for Blizzard, and that is the actual key for the gym, which we're going to be doing next episode. But for right now... TM14 is a very good start. A horsey would have been nice as well, other than the fact that obviously we already have a million water types. Uh, I mean, it turns into a dragon type eventually, starting in Gen 2, and we are getting close to Gen 2. So we should also be thinking about how Pokemon are in Gen 2 when we capture Pokemon now. Like, are we going to be interested? We're going to be interested in capturing every Pokemon, because even if it's a Delibird, even if it's a Delibird, or a other useless piece of crap. We want to capture it. If at all possible. Um, you're not going to shut the door on me here, are you? Are you? It felt like you would, honestly. Because I think there is a room in here with one of those statues. Which you can actually like lock yourself into. Obviously you can lock yourself let yourself out. You can't lock yourself out. You can lock yourself out, but not in this specific context. 
Uh, we're gonna have to toss another item. Let's see, what is the, um, that's Psy Wave. Honestly, kinda still want that. Max Potion, I don't need it. Um, and I think this is the item we need, right? That's TM22, that's not what we need. It might be something we need, but not what I was looking for. What is TM22? TM22 contains Solar Beam. I'm gonna say just toss that. Because I don't need moves that have charging times. I, 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 just, I just don't. And before people tell me, actually, Solar Beam doesn't have charging time in Gen 1, and I'll be very upset. That's the key. That's the key. That's all we needed. Let's get the fuck out of here. I hate this mansion. And we can check for the, for the Clefairy now as well in the box after we go to the Pokemon Lab. And this episode is going to be a slightly shorter one because we are about at a half an hour in my recording, but it's like five minutes of me walking around and doing nothing useful and uh, just Googling. So it's probably going to be about 25 or something. I mean, you guys can... Can you just please... You've got wheels. Can you please just roll when I want you to roll without me having to grab my desk and make... Loud sounds. A Rapidash is going to be called... I don't know what to call a Rapidash, holy hell. Um, it's a horse. Do we have any, like, reference to horses? Um, I'm going to call you... Paul... Palty. I don't know why. <laughs> Palty. Sounds a little bit like Poltergeist. I think that's like where I was coming from. It doesn't make any goddamn sense because if anything, Ghastly and its line sh should have that name because of like ghosts. P Poltergeists aren't ghosts is the thing. It kind of depends on what version of uh, mythology you're looking at, but generally poltergeists aren't actually ghosts. Ghosts are deceased people, poltergeists are supernatural things separate from living beings. Um, let's see, uh, we have... I think we might not have... I don't think... I don't think we are allowed to keep Patrick. So, we're gonna get rid of Patrick. Because I don't see anything in here that I don't recognize, or all recognize as the Clefairy. So, I don't think we ran into a Clefairy. We might have run into a Clefairy, but I don't think we caught it, at any rate. So, until the next episode where we're going to take on two gyms in one episode. Things are going very quickly, and it's going to be a very stressful episode because we're going to be taking on two gyms and both are going to be in the mid 50s and we're in the mid 40s so uh and we don't have dragonite yet i'm going to do that after next episode i'm going to record this uh, this next upcoming episode right away um i do have a good idea for a move set for dragonite i just need to see what dragonite stats are in gen 1 because obviously it's a fairly bulky and then mostly special attack uh oriented pokemon usually in later gens does it have a good special stats in this generation? Because if it does, it's definitely getting Thunderbolt, Blizzard, um, and then I I'll see what I can give it on top of that. Um, if it's more of a physical Pokemon, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with. And if it's more of a physical Pokemon, um, it actually, I might give it Surf. I don't know if Dragonite gets Surf, but that would be a good coverage move. And then maybe Fly as a to round it off. And then I don't really need... Uh, Nick anymore, I don't think. We'll see after next episode. Until then, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. To, subscribe. I, you know what to do. Fuck off. <laughs>